Hey guys, Achi Luxury, Achi Luxury Channel. Today I'm just going for my walk. I gotta tell you, the weight loss program, how is it going? Well, I've, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I've gotta tell you, it's, uh, it's coming down. I was 137 kilos, which, you know, that was a fair bit. 137 was a fair bit. Uh, so I've, I've, I'm coming down under the 130, I'm 128 point something. I got to do a bit more on the diet, got to do a bit more. Yes, definitely got to do some more there. Um, I got to be honest with you there, as far as the, uh, the program goes, it's, it's going okay, but I got to be honest with you, you've got to be on your guard. You have got to be on your guard. You got to be on your guard. So keep the calories at bay. That's a very important thing and keep the exercise going. I got to do the exercise. It's so easy to not skip a few days and uh, so easy to just have some relapses but uh, I gotta be honest with you yeah you gotta you gotta concentrate concentrate so uh, I, I'm, I'm fairly lucky here I got a very nice walk this is a little walkway here this is where I go every day you know nice middle-class area you've got people who have jobs and you know they it's not all just car bodies thrown everywhere it's kind of you know lower middle class and uh, this is actually expensive. This is getting into the, the posher people, but it's it's kind of cool. Yeah, this is uh, this is where I live, and um, I've got to be honest with you, it's cool. It's cool. Middle class Australia is a um, it's a cool thing. Very aspirational. Um, yeah. So I've got to tell you, the weight loss it's working. It's I'm trying my best. Okay, I am trying my best hi guys I'm Archie Luxury and today I'm doing an advertisement for one of my great fans here I want to promote KK Design which is a San Diego based interior designer who specializes in full service residential and boutique style commercial spaces from start to finish New sofa, new kitchen, new house, or you just need some ideas or a second set of eyes, no problem. Work can be done via Skype, FaceTime, email, text, phone calls, or in person, depending on the size of the project. Restrooms and Rolex, Lunges and living rooms, patics and pantries. She does it all. Is your house ready for your new timepiece? Follow her on Instagram at K-A-T-E-K -E underscore I-N-S-P-O. That's on Instagram at Kate K underscore I-N-S-P-O. Reach her and check out her work at www.katek.design. Kate K all the way. Kate K all the way. Kate K all the way. Thank you very much. Please check her brilliant design out. The weight loss, what can I say? You've got to do exercise, eat less, move more. That's what you need to do. This is the, it's simple mathematics. Eat less, move more. And uh, easier said than done. Chocolate, ice cream, they're not your friends. They aren't your friends. So uh, I come every day for the uh, the walk. I try and do 40 minutes of walking, vigorous walking, which sometimes is not so vigorous, but uh, I'm trying my best. And we're continuing the walk, walking up this steep gradient here. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's a nice nice part of suburban life. We've got a few parks here, which is surprising because this was developed in the 70s when 
They could do whatever the fuck they want. They didn't have to leave any land, well, not much land for parks, etc. So, yeah, it's good to have a bit of a walk, walking spot to, um, to walk through. The weight loss continues. And this is where we're walking, walking next to my old school. And, uh, yes, keep walking, Archie, keep walking. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. And today, guys, I'm gonna do something a bit unusual. I'm gonna have a look at my old primary school. This is Jamboree State, Jamboree Heights State School. Jamboree Heights State School. So we're gonna have a look at some of my old classrooms and we'll have a bit of a, we'll do a bit of an assessment on some of the teachers I had there. So let's start. Okay. David SW, David SW, David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest gray market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you. The greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people to. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex? For all the hot models? There's only one person I would recommend. David SW. David SW. David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're gonna buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one Good source, I would recommend. David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David SW. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. You see, what happens is Bentley and Rolls Royce, they never used to do the bodywork or the or the interior all they did is they supplied a chassis with an engine and a steering wheel okay so then they would go to a coach builder and a coach builder uh, would have put on like a, a saloon body different bodies like a limousine body and some of them would have been sportster type bodies okay so that 
that would be uh, so that's what I think it would have originally been and what they've done is of course nobody really wants the um, you know the, the limousine sort of car now they want the the Bentley sports you know that that kind of that 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 Le Mans type car so okay what they go for is about five hundred thousand pounds yeah yeah the Bentley blowers there's certain in look I'm not a Bentley expert but they are highly even you know Look, it, they wouldn't be replicas because you, you wouldn't. It'd cost you even more to. You, you wouldn't fabricate the engine, but that's what it is. So it would have been. It would have probably been like a limousine, and then it's been converted into like a sports star like that, which is beautiful. They're a beautiful thing. Uh, that's what they used to race in Le Mans. So that that's the type of car it looked like. Okay. Well, Le Mans. Yeah, that's what's what it would have been. See, so the Bentley. You know, that's. That's now the interesting thing is you know Bentley H O Bentley he designed the engines for Aston Martin. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he actually designed an engine which Aston Martin used because um, it was to do with Lagonda. It's because there was uh, David Brown, D B was David Brown, the big tractor company. And he made the DB series, see, and that's that's kind of, and and those the early ones of those the engines were designed by W O Bentley. Okay. Oh, you're talking sort of pre World War Two, I think. I I think yeah, I think uh, it maybe just after World, that sort of period there. So that that that's kind of the the story, but it's. It's a magnificent car, big to drive. They're not actually fun to drive. I had a guy who had a Rolls Royce in Melbourne. You know, the guy with the Lamborghini, he had a Rolls Royce, like a 1920s Rolls Royce, right? I got a Bentayga in diesel. Can you believe that? Over here. I like that blue, actually. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. It's well, fucking. I thought it was a California, but no. No, it changed the name. Oh, it's same thing. Same. Th that's the base, is it? You know this flying spur here. Luke had one of those. No. Yeah. Sorry, he had a flying spur and he sold it to get a Mulsanne. He sold it. Does he make all his money from the watch? No, he had money before. shame that someone has to wash this thing you know I'll bring out a bucket and do it myself oh, if some bastard <laughs> Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I want to introduce, I want to introduce a new company. This is Fame City Property Solutions. That's correct. They're located in Northeast Ohio and Fame City Property Solutions replaces non-efficient lights with energy saving LED lighting. Now, I got to tell you, the guys at Fame City Fame City, they will install energy saving LED lights at office buildings, commercial warehouses, home improvement stores, grocery stores, schools, parking lots, and other residential homes. Customers of Fame City Property Solutions can save hundreds and even thousands of dollars on their electricity bills. 
Now, you can email these guys at famecitypropertysolutions at gmail.com. That's all one word there. famecitypropertysolutions at gmail.com. Fame City Property Solutions, specializing in LED installations. Come on, guys, help this business out. Fame City Property Solutions in Northeast Ohio. Come on, guys, get on board here now with efficient, energy saving LED lighting. Fame City Property Solutions. So the Kuna Vina is basically um, made out of four big pointers. Four big pointers. Yes. Four big factors. Oh, so see. the first factor is yes. the dial. So yes. you can, as you can see, you can see the dial from 6 to 12 is cylindrical curve. Oh, oh yes, very yes. cool. It's like a dome. Yeah. Oh, yes. 906 is a spherical curve. Yes. Very nice. Yes. You can see like this. Yeah. Yes. So we are the first to actually create this fire crystal on a watch. Fire so it's just not a normal round watch, it's more of like a contemporary look with a twist. Because if you notice, the middle case is still octagonal, the like 8 inches. Yes. The wow. middle case. It's a round watch, yes. octagonal middle case, yes. and a round case back. Ah. So um, this is um, the second factor, the wow. case. Um, the first is the crystal, second is the case. That will be the dial. If you notice, um, it's very intense. Yes. Deep and intense. It's, it is made out of eight layers of uh, lacquer. Yes. So imagine two layers of lacquer is also quite hard because one yes. particle of dust goes in, is the end. Oh. So it's actually hard to do. We actually uh, created a machine to actually separate oh, the dial and the case so we can lacquer it. It's amazing. And that's, these are the ca like a calendar, are they? I uh, know this is a chronograph, a chronograph flyback sorry. chronograph, Audemars oh, Piguet flyback chronograph, which Wait, this uh, is not clients calendar. has been asking for ten yeah, years. This is just the oh, okay. yeah. the date. This is just the date model. So, what, what price point are these going at? This is steel. This is white gold. Sorry, this is white they gold. only do precious metal, aren't they? Precious the code fifty nine is uh, only precious metal, Dave. Yes. Oh. Which is unusual because I would have thought they would have done steel mm. because so they're still yeah. making these chronographs. No, no, no. Uh, this is yeah. different model. Different yeah, model. they still make that chronograph. And yeah. this, this is, is different. different. This is the new series. Mm -hmm. The new series. Yeah. And what price point is is these these selling at here? There, they um really well made. So what are the prices of these? For time and date, we'll be retailing at thirty seven thousand six hundred. This one. Yep. And these ones are more chronographs. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Fifty nine thousand four hundred. Okay. And that's with their in-house movement as yes. well, isn't it? They've got gone in-house now because oh, right. they used to use a a module, don't they? A Frederick Duguay module, I think. I know. In their yeah. older ones, like that one he's uh, wearing. That, that's using yeah. a module. It's a it's their automatic with a module that goes on top it's of it. It's a module. It's a module chronograph. Ah, but these are in-house integrated chronographs. Yes, yeah. and these are the only ones that they've gone in-house. Well, no, they've 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 got. AP's got a long history of, of, of um, complications. They've, they've got a lot of sort of in-house ones, yeah. but um, if this is just their series where they they've they've launched this series and um, and they've been popular so far. These ones Cause selling very well, more than that because Royal Oak is such an iconic model in uh, yeah. AP. But you, if, you, uh, if you notice when Royal Oak was first launched in 1972, the response was so mm. not as overwhelmed as now. So yeah. it takes. Sometimes it will be as overwhelmed as Royal Oaks. No, take a yeah, they're, they are very... The quality on them, Dave, is just amazing, you know? I think it's beautiful. Allow me to show some details. Okay. If you notice the Audemars Piguet logo, it's extremely small. I see. 12.5 mm yes. uh, length. Yeah. It's so hard to do because it's small. You yeah. can put it in the um, like a dial. So we we are using a galvanic growth. It's like a... Uh, 3, I can 3D, uh, 3D printing, so it's done by atom by atom to actually create the 3D look. Wow. Mm, the JJ Laco, and if you're not familiar with JJ Laco, you may not be that familiar with timepieces. But what JJ Laco is, it is a manufacturer brand 
Swiss watch. Now what manufacturer means is that all of the movements, the movement inside of this timepiece and all of their timepieces are handmade in-house. A lot of your big uh, timepiece manufacturers that you're probably familiar with, uh, Omega, now, now Omega started manufacturing their own movements recently, but uh, Tag Hoar and... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,